Hello guys, and this is Nelson from Dan the Nurse, and today I'll be showing you my Movius Mark 1 and Mark 2 Colonial Vipers models. And um, before I go into the review of these models and talk to you a little bit about them, um, I just want to say I know I haven't uploaded videos in a very, very long time, and the reason for that is because I've been moving from state to state, and it's been really, really crazy, and I've been very, very busy. And finally, I have a few blocks of time uh, to kind of do my own thing. So hopefully, I get more times like this and make more videos and keep doing more reviews on Star Wars and some more programming videos and just kind of continue stuff that I like to do and share with you guys. So anyways, let's jump right into it. Um, Battlestar Galactica. How can I start? Well, Battlestar Galactica... Um, is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Um, this TV show came out in 1978 and it was created by Glenn Larson, I believe that's his name. And he made this TV show um, about this, um, if you guys don't know of course, it's about this 12 planets that have been at war with this robotic alien species known as the Cylons for many many years. And the Cylons decided to sign a peace treaty, but it's actually a ruse, and they betrayed them, and so they destroyed their colonies. So now this human fleet led by, um, uh, well, his commander Adama to find a new colony with the massive space station known as the Battlestar Galactica to find a new colony known as Earth. And throughout the series, you have the Cylons pursuing them, and you have heroes left and right trying to find them, fight them, and it's, it's a really cool show. Of course, it's a 70s show, so it has its cheesy moments from time to time, but I personally grew up watching it. I loved it, and it was definitely the next best thing uh, after Star Wars. Of course, Star Wars was released in 77, but you still had to wait until 1980 to get uh, the, the Empire Strike Back movie. So it took a while. So the next next best thing was to see the TV show Battlestar Galactica. So Battlestar Galactica unfortunately had only one season. Then they kind of revived it in 1980 or tried to revive it. Unfortunately that show sucked. It was the second season sucked. Um, they canceled the show apparently because um, the show was really expensive. I believe every episode cost uh, over a million dollars. Which might not sound like much nowadays, but back then that was a lot of money. And um, yeah, it, it was a great TV show. It was very unfortunate they canceled it. And in, 19, in 2003, actually, Sci-Fi Channel remade the series Battlestar Galactica with new cast and new ideas. Which I gotta admit, for the longest time I did not want to watch that show. And the reason for it is because I don't like remakes. Um, I I rather see um, continuations of a story rather than remakes because when they make a remake they're kind of canceling out um, what you saw before and they did a lot of changes in the show so I didn't want to watch the show I kind of hated the show without even watching it and um, after reading some of the reviews I said no let me give it a try so I did and actually I love the show it was really good although the f f season four um, was a little philosophical for me um, but season one two and the first half season three were fantastic um, let me show you here I have a DVD set of the original Battlestar Galactica series you can see the eye of the Cylon moving here when you move the box really cool this includes the entire collection of the first season not the second season which I'm not too keen to purchase and here I have the entire DVD collection of the remake of Battlestar Galactica. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. So here you see some of the characters, especially number six, which is a very famous in the series. And yeah, really cool um, box set. I believe you can still find this one in Amazon, as well as the original TV show. Um, the Remake spawned some spin-off movies. I believe one of them is called The Plan, the other one is called Racer, and Blood and Chrome Blood and Chrome, which is my favorite, is is uh, kind of a prequel to the to the ser to this series. So anyways, let's jump right into the Mobius um 
model kits. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm a collector of Star Wars and I love Star Wars um, vehicles and action figures. But I also love this series. I really love this series. I love the design of the Mark One. I should remove this Mark here so we just focus on this Mark. And it, it does have that, you know, Star Wars look to it. If you look closely, um, it almost looks like an X Wing. And you know what? The guy who did the, the design, the, the concept design for this one, it's the same guy who did the concept design for the X-Wing, which is Rolf McQuarrie. So you can see that his um, signature is all over this. And I love this this design. I mean, it, this is beautiful. It's pure engine, really. And I wanted always a Mark, a Colonial Viper Mark I. The problem was that what was out there in terms of action figures was the stuff that they actually released way back in 1978, 1979 which was a line made by Mattel which I gotta say wasn't that great and um, was available out there you can find it on eBay some of the stuff is either it's not good quality or it's extremely expensive but I really wanted to I wanted to mark one that looked amazing so after doing research I found the Mobius models and I was like man you know I don't really want to spend the time building a model but after seeing some YouTubers and some of the tutorials I said what the heck and I've been doing some modeling myself but I haven't done it for a long time so I just wanted to try and challenge myself and do this model and I bought it I bought the paint and all the stuff and I think I think it looks really awesome this model took me a little over three weeks to build um, of course I had to buy a lot of materials um, it's a little annoying because some of the, you gotta do a lot of research of what type of materials you want you need and you kind of want to add your own type of signature to it because when you're doing a making a model it is your work it is your art of course now you can see some of the there's some cables down here this cables because I actually added LED lights that illuminate the cockpit as well as the engines which looks really cool but I, I, I want to get another stand for it this um, this is the mark one Colonial Viper, like I just said. I added some, uh, you see some wear, some weathering. It looks like it's it's been in a lot of bat battles. Really cool, very realistic. Love this model a lot. The only thing I don't like about this model is the stickers. The stickers are not that good. Um, I mean, the stick, not the stickers. You know, the decal is not that good. Um, the problem is that some of the times when they're like you put them on the seam they tend to kind of bubble up even if you you use like uh, the salt um, solution microsoft solution which is meant to kind of imprint it there but it worked okay but i think i could have done a lot better you can see that shine i don't want that i should have painted above it instead um, if you guys have any ideas of what could i do um, please feel welcome to mention them so then because I love that one I also purchased the Mark II which is the one that was for the remake TV series and this one looks really badass um, it's a little smaller than the original and um, let's see if you can see the cockpit here some details of course this all this work is done by myself um, the color scheme is is, is definitely um, different. Now the the decal on this one was actually fairly easier than the decal for the Mark One. Um, it has a lot of decal, like you can see all the little on decal here. This insignia. There's some warning stuff and wording here. This actually says right here, Starbuck. Let me see if I can. Man, I always there you go, Starbuck. And it looks all again wet, very weather, very battle damage. You see the little chips gone here and there. Looks really cool. I love this model. Um, I did not include LED lights in this one because it was just just a lot of work. And and it, they cost well actually there's a place. If you guys have any questions on where to get LED lights, um, I can research and um, 
give you the email address or the website. But yeah, I love these models and um, I'm very proud of actually building and painting and weathering these models. I had a lot of fun. By the way, this model took me like two weeks to build. This one like over three weeks because of the LED lights and all the work that entitled it. But anyways, really cool stuff and hopefully I can make keep making some other, some more videos. So let me give you a rear shot of the if I give you a rear shot of the there you go. Look at that. That looks cool. So I'll be making more videos. I've been also doing some more models. Actually I have the Cylon Raider model which I got um a few months ago. Hopefully I find a block of time to actually build it as well. And I'll show you some of the stuff. And anyways, um, welcome back and hopefully I'll keep con uh, continue making some videos for you guys and sharing some of my stuff. And um, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day and God bless. Bye bye.